Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. For today's video, we're at the Forbidden City in Beijing, China. Although this World Heritage Site covers two separate palace complexes built by the Ming and the Qing dynasties, the centerpiece here is the incredible Forbidden City in Beijing. Built by the third and the greatest of the Ming emperors, Yongle, it took 15 years and over a million men to construct. As he had seized the throne in a violent palace coup in 1406, Yongle ordered his new palace and capital to rigidly enforce both the law and the social hierarchy of the time. And although it's now a museum, it's still right at the heart of the center of China. Entry to the complex comes via the enormous Meridian Gate, fronting the Tiananmen Gate and Tiananmen Square with its famous portrait of Chairman Mao. Here there are three archways, the center one reserved for the emperor's exclusive use. His family, his ministers, and other officials all had to use separate entrances. Through the gate and inside the walls is the main palace, a rectangular complex of over 180 acres and nearly a thousand buildings. The main buildings run in a north-south line through the center of the complex, and they're arranged into what's known as the outer court and the inner court. The outer court was for formal and ceremonial affairs, while the inner court was for day-to-day -day business, and it's where the imperial family actually lived. Inside the Meridian Gate is a large square with a winding artificial river, overlooked by the Gate of Supreme Harmony. Entering this gate, you'll see the Hall of Supreme Harmony, the heart of the whole complex and the seat of imperial power. This is where the emperor would receive dignitaries and hold court, and fittingly, it's the largest building in the palace. Nearby, you'll also find the Hall of Central Harmony and the Hall of Preserving Harmony, the other important buildings of the outer court. All of these are covered in delicate paintings and stone reliefs too. The highlights of the inner court are the Palace of Heavenly Purity, the Hall of Union, and the Palace of Earthly Tranquility. Although smaller, these buildings are just no less detailed in their decoration and artwork, and as with all of the buildings in the complex, they're topped with golden roof tiles to celebrate the majesty of the Emperor. Overall, it's a fantastic and impressive palace, and it's one of the true highlights of China. It's a real treat to explore the compound and get a sense for how both the Ming and the Qing dynasties ruled China for over 500 years. And to answer the obvious question, why is it called the Forbidden City? Simple. It's the size of a small city, and literally everyone was forbidden from entering or leaving without express permission from the Emperor. <laughs> 